Hey guys, Tanner Larson here. I want to talk to you today about building a sustainable online income through your internet marketing business. All right. Now I'm sure you've probably heard the, the saying or the, the formula, formula for success, right? Where you go create a product, start selling it, get it to sell, then go recruit affiliates, get them to start selling it for you, and voila, you've got lots of money coming in, right? Well, now that is a proven formula and it does work and you can make some really good money doing that. However, it's not the best way and there are some really big problems that are associated with it or some issues that people don't really talk about. And the only ones that really know about the issues are the ones who've already been through the method and know it and have adapted to it and changed their business around to overcome those issues. The first issue is if you really want to build wealth, this is not the way to do it. It's a way to make good money, but no internet marketer has ever gotten wealthy by creating one product, selling it, and having affiliates promote it. Okay, he's made really good money, you know, upwards of a couple hundred thousand dollars, I'm sure. But that, you know, those are some of the some guys have done million dollar days. Okay, but they don't get to keep all that money. That's a product launch. They get to keep less than half of it after refunds and then merchant fees. It goes down and down and down. All right, so it's still really good money, but it's not true wealth. Okay, no internet marketer has ever gotten wealthy off of selling an info product just by itself. All right. The next thing is is that info products like ebooks or you know special reports or software or whatever they have a sales cycle all right that goes up and down it fluctuates very wildly one month you may sell a ton the next month you may sell none and then you typically you sell the most when it's first released and after the few months following that and then it kind of starts to go down and down and down and down and you still may make sales from time to time and you may have affiliates promoting it little by little but you definitely have a dying sales process and a dying sales funnel as it goes gets older. All right, the process t tapers down until it's making less sales. It's just the life cycle of a product. All products have that. Now you can revamp a product and relaunch it and get the sales to spike back up again, but it's not sustainable. All right. The next thing is that affiliates. Most affiliates are useless. All right, you you can recruit a lot of affiliates very easily. Heck, I probably have like fifteen. 100 affiliates for just one program and probably all total of all my programs I probably have over 10,000 affiliates, okay? That doesn't mean much <laughs> because 95% of the affiliates that you have won't do anything. They don't, they don't make any sales. They may make one sale here or there, but consistently they're pretty much useless. And I'm not trying to bash affiliates and it's not just affiliates, it's business in general. It's you know marketers in general. Not everybody's very successful. Most marketers are not successful and most affiliates don't actually ever promote your product even most of them sign up for your program and then forget about it okay now there's about five percent maybe even up to ten percent of your affiliates that will ever make consistent sales for you all right now of those five percent only maybe one percent of them will ever make a lot of sales for you while the rest of them may make one or two sales here and there maybe up I mean I, I've never seen an affiliate make one sale a week consistently for a year okay that doesn't happen or one sale a day consistently for a year they, they, they get ups and downs and they get some sales and a few less sales. It's just kind of like the ebb and flow of your product cycle. Affiliates have ebbs and flows in their promotional cycles as well. The next problem with affiliates, they're lazy, okay? They want easy money. You can't blame them, okay? But what they want is the next exciting thing, okay? They jump on the next product launch, the next newest product because the new products are easier to promote and sell than old products. There's more excitement around them. There's more interest. It's, it's new. It's exciting. It's, ooh, I got to have it. So affiliates you typically jump on board those new products quicker, and that means they abandon the products they were promoting. So you're going to lose momentum with your affiliates as new products come out in the market. That the shiny object syndrome grabs affiliates very, very, very quickly. All right. Now, now this method is great. All right, it's real. It's a proven method. It will make you some money. But like I said, those pro there are those problems are there. It's very possible, however, to make five thousand, ten thousand, twenty thousand, fifty thousand, or even a hundred thousand dollars a month using this method okay now I'm saying that's gross you're not gonna net all that but you can make really really good money following this system however those kind of product creators and those kind of marketers that's this is typically what you see the low to mid six-figure marketers doing okay these guys have to be magicians alright because their income is completely tied to the products that they release so they have to be a magician and pull money out of thin air meaning one month they make fifty thousand dollars when they launch a new product or they release a new product right but what happens the next month they have to start over from scratch now they may make some sales from the previous month product that they release but it won't be a lot it won't be tons all right and every month thereafter it's going to go down and down and down and down so every month they have to start from square one and start building a new income creating a new product launching a new product releasing a new product to create and sustain that high level of income that they're used to that's why you see all these like six-figure, you know, hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, three hundred thousand dollar a year marketers launching a new product 
every single week or every two weeks. Now, I'm guilty of that in the past. I used to firmly believe that you had to launch two products a month if you wanted to be successful and you wanted to make a real six-figure income. Now, one product a month is more than enough to get to the $100,000 level. Heck, you could do it with half that. All right, but if you, I wanted more than $100,000 a month, or I mean, a year, excuse me. So I thought two products a month was the way, there's the ticket, was the what you had to do to get there. It was a crazy hard trying to produce that many products. But when you really look at the thing, look at the whole picture, do you see the million dollar marketers doing that? Not really. I mean, you don't see Evan Pagan out there launching a new product or a new WSO every week to sustain his $30 million a year internet marketing business, do you? No. He doesn't do that at all. I mean, he has a lot of products. Over time, he's developed them, but he's not launching new products every week to keep his business growing. That $30 million a year is a sustainable model that he's been growing every year for the last, I don't know how long he's been doing it, but he's been doing it for quite a while, all right? And he's just one example. All right, none of these guys are producing new products every week. It's the lower level marketers, the lower income marketers who still are on this product, product, product model, okay? New product a week, new product, new product. Now, not saying there's anything wrong with it or that it's a bad model, but there's ways to improve. And if you really want to take your income to that next level and build a sustainable income, which is what we all want, something that lasts forever or lasts for a long term that we can count on, okay? And what these million-dollar marketers have figured out, these guys, what they're doing, they still have regular products, yes, but what they focus on is continuity. Now, continuity income is just a fancy word for residual or recurring income, income that comes in on a monthly or a weekly or a monthly or quarterly or some kind of continual basis on autopilot. This is the kind of income where you do the work once and you get paid over and over again like clockwork. This is where true wealth is built. And any successful internet marketer in the million dollar range or anyone who's really making a consistent huge income online or even just a good income online will tell you that the majority of their income is going to come from continuity products. And that's why they can sustain their income and grow their company. Now, the number one problem that most businesses have, most internet marketers, and actually businesses in general, but specifically internet marketers, is cash flow. They don't have any. Most internet marketers are hand to mouth. Whatever money they make in goes right back out to pay their bills or whatever. They're usually, you know, zero bank balances every month. They're very high, you know, income comes in, income goes out. Income comes in, income goes out. They have no cash flow. And therefore, they can't afford to grow their business. So it stunts their growth. They're kind of stagnant. They're stuck at a specific level because they don't have a consistent income coming in that allows them to baseline their, their income and their budget and grow their business. What continuity income does is it gives you a dependable income, something that you can count on to come in day after day, month after month. Okay, it's kind of like getting a paycheck, all right? So let's say you go to a job and you work every two weeks, you get $1,500, so $3,000 a month, right? If you know that every two weeks you're going to get a, ch you're going to get a check or you're going to get $1,500 in your bank account, then it's easier to budget your, your money, right? You know how to, what you can try to structure your spending so that you have enough money left over, okay? That's what continuity income does. You have a membership site that's got 10 members, each paying you 100 bucks, all right? Or that's $1,000 a month, right? Or 100 members paying you 10 bucks a month, still 1,000 bucks. Either way you look at it, that's $1,000 a month that comes in on the first of the month every single month. Now, $1,000 isn't a lot of money, but it's recurring. It's dependable, and you know it's going to come in. You can bank on it. So you can structure your spending based on that. It gives you a baseline cash level that you can use to run your business, grow your business, and then anything else that comes in on top of that is gravy. All right? And this is what most of these big, successful, million-dollar-plus marketers are doing. They're, they still have their you know, front-end products that are one time off where they you know, buy a $47 ebook or a $59 this or a $67 video course, right? But that's the front-end purchase. Everything on the back end, they're funneling you into their continuity programs where they, they get you to pay them monthly because that's where the real income and the real wealth is built. Your one-off purchase, yeah, that's great. That's gravy money to them. But the real money, they're, what they're really excited about is the residual recurring income, okay? And that's where the power is. So guys, if you really want to be successful online and build a successful and growing business that has a sustainable business model and a sustainable income level that you can count on, all right, you need to get into the continuity game. Now, don't think continuity is a bad word. I know that's got a, lot, a bad rap from some of these other shady marketers that were doing the hidden subscriptions where they charge your card and you wouldn't even know you're being charged. That's not what real continuity is. Okay, continuity comes from membership sites. It comes from you know paid newsletter subscriptions or magazine subscriptions, services being offered, auto ship programs. There's tons of ways to charge ethical continuity. Okay. 
Don't be afraid of it. Don't shy away from it. You need to embrace it if you really want to build a sustainable income. Because what's better? To have a $50,000 a month and then the next month have a $3,000 or $10,000 a month? Or to have a consistent $30,000 income stream that comes in every single month? Okay, and then on top of that, you may make more money one month or more money less the next month, but it's, you have that baseline of $30,000 that you can count on every single month. Even if it's only $10,000 every single month or $5,000 every single month, whatever your level is, that's money you can count on, and that's the key to building a sustainable business online. Okay, so it doesn't, now, if you don't have the capability or the knowledge or you're too worried about creating your own continuity program to start with, there's another option, okay? Go find a membership site or a recurring income product that you can promote as an affiliate, and it will pay you at least $10 a month as an affiliate. You can build a, con a residual income or a continuity income stream by being an affiliate. Now, it's not the best option because you don't control the product, and if the product goes down or the, or the affiliate or the product owner quits paying or whatever, you could lose that income stream. But for now, just to get some income flowing in on a continual basis, find a good affiliate product, get out there, start promoting it, and promote the ones that will pay you monthly, okay? That's a great way to get started. Now, also, if you do want to create your own continuity program, don't freak out. It doesn't have to be a $97 a month or $197 a month or, heck, even a $997 a month product. You don't have to go big, all right? Even nano continuity is very effective and it's a great way to get your feet wet. Now nano continuity is charging sub $10 or even less than $5 sometimes for a membership. So it's like $5 a month that they pay you. Now at $5 a month you don't have to provide as much crazy you know, value or content to get the site going. So if you want to start out small, go ahead. There's nothing wrong with a $5 a month continuity program. I have several of them. Okay. They're really great. I, I actually kind of like them. They're, they're, they're high conversions. They're easy to make money with. They're you know low customer service, and they're easy to provide value because you're only charging five bucks. Now, even if you have, let's say you have three thousand members paying five bucks a month, that's fifteen thousand dollars a month in income. Okay, so don't shy away from a little income stream or a low price continuity. Just get continuity going. So if you're not comfortable starting with a high price continuity, start with a low or mid ticket. Just get it out there and start going. You can always tweak the offer and keep and keep going with it, all right? Continuity is key to building a sustainable business model. And I think, actually, I know for a fact, if you give it a shot and start re realizing and smiling whenever that money comes in month by month, you'll be sold and you'll restructure your entire business model to make continuity a priority.